if you're out in the woods and you want to start a fire or you want to light a cigarette or light a cigar or something like that, you darn sure don't want anybody to be able to see what you're lighting it with. I mean, come on. If you drop this thing, it's going to disappear. Now, I get it. They, they make a camouflage so that people will lose them and want to buy another one. It should be this color. It should be this color, not camouflage. Now, would I go out and buy one of these? If if you painted it camouflage and I couldn't find it? Huh? Do you think I would do that? <sighs> yeah, I probably would. Because I kind of like the thing. But enough with the camouflage for tools out in the woods. Not needed. You're not trying to hide from the bear and the moose and the geese and things. Up to everybody, this is Marino from Marino's Mystery saying hello again. Uh, I got a couple of more interesting things that I want to show you, and one of them is um, something that I bought that I had one of these many many years ago and it's a it's a lighter but it's an electric lighter pretty cool it doesn't take any fuel and it was actually suggested by some friends of mine from the great state of Maine. And they actually have a YouTube channel. And it's called Whiskey and Sunshine. And they uh, provided a affiliate link for these lighters and I said you know I think it's time to get another one of those because it was pretty cool and I didn't take care of the first one I had because I was young and foolish and anyway here it is um, nice box I don't know if... Oh, yeah, this picks it up. And when I open it up, we get a nice little instruction booklet. And nice case. Really nice case. And what does that say? USB cable and rope under tray. Oh, yeah, okay. So we're not gonna mess with this too much. I'm, I'm thinking this has got a bit of a charge in it. <clears throat> now, the only thing that I don't really like about this is that it's camouflage. 
So if you do drop this and you are out in the woods, it's not going to be easy to find again. So, you know, that that's just one of the drawbacks. Now, how you open this is you flip that lever down and you push let's say you push that button right there and it flicks open and you push on this button again and getting absolutely nothing <clears throat> so I will put this on the charger for a few minutes and we'll get some juice going into it. Wow, that's a short cord. And uh, where'd I where'd I put my glasses? <laughs> Uh, let's see, where's the cord, or where's the thing, oh, wait a minute, maybe that's, oh, <laughs> that button was, <clears throat> okay, let's do this again, it's waterproof, it seals tight, okay, you push this down, that allows you to open it with that button. And then there's another button, say, right there. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, there, if you get it just right. And when you do that, eh? there, put it against my... And that gives you some good... Now watch me set my, now watch me set my face on fire here. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, don't do that at home. But that's, that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get it over here again. Will it? Let's see if I can. Uh, no. It's not showing up very good, but it is uh, quite interesting. Those two electric arcs, one from the top, one from the bottom, making a nice arc. And it will set most anything on fire. So, that's kind of nice. Again, thank you to Whiskey and Sunshine for suggesting that. And actually, it wasn't Whiskey and Sunshine. It was, um, oh, this is terrible because I can't think of her. Um, um, Shelly has a another channel and it's something about crafts and oh I'll have it in the description I'm so embarrassed um, something about reclaiming or, or crafts her way or something oh please don't don't hate me for this I can't remember but anyway go check out her channel uh, if you go to Whiskey and Sunshine uh, uh, Off Grid, you'll find links for her other channel. And um, so I got another little package. Now this one's pretty cool, and this one's going to require some demonstration. Um, this is kind of a modern of an old-fashioned can opener. Okay. 
Okay. And what it is, is this is not your can openers that you've seen recently. This is a can opener that is supposed to be a good idea for older people. Now you may ask, how in the devil does this contraption work? Well, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at it. Now if I push if I push in here, say that that comes out and it goes all the way up here and that becomes a crank. Okay? And when you crank on it, that wheel comes up and starts to cut the can. And so this is a crank um, can opener. And I think it's got a sharpener here. Uh, there isn't any indication of that. But of course you've got bottle opener and you have uh, a regular you know, can opener here to, to do that. And you've got a tab here to open cans and more stuff on here. Uh, probably <laughs> there's no instructions. Uh, place the can opener is shown in the picture. And there's no picture. Uh, let's see. Robust, durable, everyday use. Uh, place the opener. Start to rotate clockwise. Hold the cover. Oh, boy. Well... I'll set the link up for this, and I bet you somebody's made a YouTube on video on how this works and all these fancy features. But anyway, let's go open some cans. Luckily, I want to, or I have to make some spaghetti, so I'll be back with you in a second. Hi again. <laughs> Back in the kitchen, and we're going to show you how to do this magic can opener. Okay, so as you can see, the blade is all the way down at the bottom. And when I turn it the other way, it's going to come up to the top. Okay, so let's try it on this first nice big can and I'm going to figure out the best way to put this on maybe maybe that way I'm not sure going down from the top well, that's, that's got the, so I guess, okay, this little piece is magnet. See that, that little piece there? That's the magnet, so I'm going to put that on the top. And uh, what that's going to do is grab, that's going to grab the can where are you going there? Can you see that? It's going to grab the can at the top. And that blade's going to go in. And the wheel's going to grind it. So, that's okay. It just bit. 
and oh that is so much easier see that oh that is so much easier and when you're at the end as you can see that got stuck right to the right to the opener and I do a little back spinning and can open as you can see it's just a little chewed up but nothing major okay let's do it again I've got it all the way backwards around. I'm trying to put it up against the can. And I'm going to go. Oh, missed it somehow. I'm going to. Uh, make sure it's on there properly. And I'm going to go clockwise. not working for some reason. Let's try it again. Okay, I think I got it attached correctly. And I'm going around and it does seem to be working better this time. Well, for okay, so it takes a little practice. Um, but it's worth it if you're opening a lot of cans. So there's the there's the other one that I used to use. And that one you'd have to put on and crank and crank and crank. And that's hard. On the rest. This one doesn't seem to be. This is a little bit of a smaller can. And I may not be doing this exactly correctly, but I'm not. Yep. See, that actually works so easy that I'm not even sure I'm <clears throat> twisting the can. So let's try it one more time. Okay, now I'm going to watch the label so I can. Oh, yeah. See, I was looking at the wrong part of it. If I watch the label, I can see the can going right around the circle. And it comes off. And I go backwards, counterclockwise. I never lose. Or I, so far, have not lost the top inside of the can. But, oh, this is so much easier to hold on to, and you just crank it around, and boom. And it's not hard on the wrist at all. Now yeah, let's open another one. Make sure this is all the way open. Put the can in there. Yeah, see, this goes a lot easier when you know where to look and how to hold your tongue 
and all that other stuff. And off it comes. And in the garbage. And done. And there's a little bit of sauce and stuff in there, but other than that, looks great. So, let's get you over here where people can see me. So, that's how it works. And it works really well. No twisting injuries, no uh, tired hand, uh, no goop all over the place. It works really well. So, uh, big thumbs up for the crank can opener. And like I said, I will figure out all the other stuff that this thing does and leave a link in the description and tell you about it. But that's one that if anybody's getting a little older that or they're opening up a lot of cans, that's one to have. <laughs> Welcome back. So, as you can see, it works really well. And we did a lot of uh, uh, canned stuff. And if you don't do a lot of canned stuff, then you may not need something like this. But, as you can see, this is very compact so you put it in the in a drawer and most can openers are but this is the big feature here this crank um this this uh big heavy duty wheel that comes up and still couldn't figure out what this button here does i don't know I'll, I'll have to figure it out. But if you're opening a lot of cans, like when I'm over at the uh, soup kitchen, sometimes we have to open up a lot of cans. And something like this comes in handy. Now, for some reason, For some reason, they don't want to buy one of those that you attach to the table and you and you take the thing and you push down on it and you can open those big cans really easy. They don't want to do that. But one of these, one of these is going to work fantastic for something like that. So anyway, um, I guess that's it for now. I'll put the links for those two things in the description. Thanks for watching, and from Maine, we are out of here.